A 90-year-old pilot with thousands of hours makes one final mistake that proves experience isn't everything. July 1, 2017. Monticello Regional Airport, Iowa. A flight designed CTSW light sport aircraft approaches runway 27 on a perfect summer afternoon. The pilot has a unique passenger, his 70-pound dog sitting in the right seat. They've flown together countless times before. The pilot had even built a homemade plywood barrier to keep the dog away from the rudder pedals. At 48 knots, just three seconds past the runway threshold, something goes wrong. The aircraft suddenly veers right, away from the centerline. The engine surges to full takeoff power, but the airspeed doesn't increase. It drops, 44 knots, near stall speed, in a banking turn. The right wing dips low. The aircraft is no longer flying, it's falling. It slams into the cornfield 250 feet from the runway, right wing down, nose down. The pilot doesn't survive. The NTSB's conclusion? The dog likely contacted the flight controls during landing. Even makeshift safety devices can't prevent every scenario. Control surfaces demand absolute, unobstructed access. Always.